Omni Man is here. I am here. Put All Might in <laughs> in Mortal Kombat, please. If there's anything that fits Mortal Kombat's aesthetic, it's My Hero Academia. That's a joke. That's a joke. That's a joke. Omni Man has now been liberated for for the poor, just like myself. Now. He's no longer in early pass jail, and we I can play him. I can play him, and so I'm excited. We're gonna give him a go. Aside from the combat cast, I have not been looking at any gameplay of him a lot. Um, like, I'll come across like a random video here and there. I think I've seen like a handful of them, but not a whole lot. Um, we're gonna check out his ending. We're gonna see if we can fit him into... Um, we're gonna see if we can fit him into the final chapter of um, of the game. That would be cool. Hold on, I'm gonna make this purchase though, not showing you... <laughs> not showing you guys what I'm doing. I don't want to accidentally dox my, <laughs> my shit. There we go. Just y'all watch me just drop 40 bucks. So here we go. Back at it. Okay. I'm so excited. Look at that. <laughs> Look at this man, dude. Omni Man. Uh uh. Wait, 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 wait. The other thing I wanted to get, uh, this one. I wanna how do I how do I change this thing? Controls. Uh, oh, by the way, y'all, if you remember, uh, Mortal Kombat was nominated for like, I think accessibility for uh, for an award for accessibility because of the screen reader. On left and right, off. So, I think it's very interesting. Blue Mage says, "Oh, he's hot." <laughs> and you know what? You're not alone there. He's not my type. He's not my type. But you're not alone there. You're not alone in uh, Thurston over Omni Man. Although I will say he's not gonna treat you well. He's not, he's not gonna treat you well. Ask Debbie. I'm fucking with her too much. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. We, we, I just wanna. I just wanna play him. I just wanna play him. I just wanna play him. Okay. I just wanna play him. Omni -Man. There we go. <laughs> uh, I don't care. Let's let's ran, randomize whoever. Lina. Ooh, bro. Ooh. What? What do you mean? How do I unlock Tremor? <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Ying Fortress. You stand in the presence of Outworld's Empress. Am I supposed to be impressed? <laughs> I think the cape kind of glitches a lot, um, which I think is really wild. It also glitched during the combat cast, which I think is crazy. Okay, right, let me see. The mega clap of those cheeks, dude. Whoa! Whoa! Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> Bro, what the hell? <laughs> Look at this combo! Oh god. He literally like you th hold on. His um his sweep is that he lifts you up off the ground and he just <laughs> Oh bro, come on. Think <laughs> Think Think Fight. Oh god, hold on, what else is here? Oh, I need another thing. Oh. Wait, stop blocking that. I want to see what it does. I know I could probably do this on, um, on a training mode, but I just, I want to do a natural battle. Um, after this, we'll do the tower. I'll keep playing with him on the tower. Sorry, I'm spamming, I'm spamming, I'm spamming. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. Alright, let's do it. 
Let's see it. <laughs> down, down, back. <laughs> okay, let's try let's let's try his tower. I don't know how to unlock um tremor though. Although I think it's it's wild to me um how the choosing icon or their icon here in the character select is just a floating image of them from the combat pack trailer. You can see like the orange hue of each of the characters. So I'm assuming they're going to change it once you get the character or once it comes out. But I just think it's wild that that's what it looks like now. You know what I mean? I feel like, I don't know. It's just weird to me. It's just weird. It's a weird branding thing. I wish in the towers that they had like some intro dialogue as well. <laughs> You're a gnat. You're a gnat. Fight. Try harder. <laughs> oh shit, dude. And then he has like taunts while he's in Vilch My Stance. It's literally the most disrespect move in this entire game. I have never seen anything so disrespectful. Okay, so one of the ways to get out of Vilch My Stance is through an aerial attack, which is interesting. And I think also maybe an overhead. Maybe an overhead. Oh yeah, and like now that I'm, g I get to play him. Like I can definitely see that his suit looks ten times better than when I what I thought it looked like in the trailer. It was definitely like a a trailer thing. Oh wait, you know what? I forgot that Viltrumite stance is um, it's only invincible to um physical attacks when it is um super metered. I forgot about that. Also, I'm excited to actually play this season now. Like, I, I really want to unlock a lot of the premium store, because a lot of it looks really, really cool. The realms are mine. <laughs> Army man, we. The realms are mine. Ooh. <laughs> oh, so his gear is his cape and his, um, his uh, gloves and boots. Fascinating. I saw somewhere someone saying that a good matchup would be General Shao and Omni Man. Um, I don't necessarily agree. I think that he can probably last the longest against Omni Man. Um, but I don't know. Maybe Garrus can also last pretty long. I'm trying to think who would last long against Omni Man. Garrus would. Liu Kang would. Um, think. Liu Kang might win. Liu Kang is a celestial god. And so Liu Kang would probably win against Omni Man. Gyrus, maybe. Maybe Gyrus. But I, I don't know. I don't know about General, good old General Shao. General Shao did also get taken down by Reptile, so. So much effort. Round what? two. Fight. I love that they, like, the Omni-Man that they, like, truly captured in this game is the one from him at the very end of Season 1. I don't know, I think that's really cool. I think it's really cool that they've captured him, like, in his, like, most... I don't want to say nihilistic, but, like... Because nihilism isn't really the wor word to describe his, like, philosophy. Like, to him, like, we're just, like, a whole bunch of ants. So, like, I don't know. But, like, I like that they've captured that part of Omni-Man. Also, I wonder if the subway that we that he uses for his fatality is the same subway that um, like that's like a stage in um, old MK. It's a really fast counter, though. Like, um, what is that called? Uh, Giblet Maker is like a really fast counter. Like to cross that gap if he's like doing something, super easy. I think just one of those punches would be enough to turn Shang Tsung into goop. All right, let's see it. Desperate to avoid defeat, 
Titan Shang Tsung had stolen me from my timeline to set me against Liu Kang. <laughs> oh, I see. He assumed a Viltrumite would shift combat in his favor. And look, there's dead Liu Kang in the back. Shang Tsung was right, of course, but he was blinded by ambition and failed to consider that my only true loyalty is to the Viltrum Empire. In my home timeline, my mission to pacify Earth for Viltrum had been left incomplete. Hmm. I thought I could redeem myself by delivering this new timeline. New realms, new species, all ours for the taking. Interesting. For a few years, annexing realms satisfied the Empire's hunger for conquest. But my people have excellent memory. I knew sooner or later we would return to our own timeline, to Earth. Invincible! Mark! I only hope my son has had time enough to prepare. Mark! Oh, dude, I'm so excited to watch the new season. I haven't started it yet, because I, I don't know why. I like just getting the, it all in one chunk, so I can just, like, binge it all. That's why I haven't been watching, um, that's why I haven't been watching the new JJK season either. I, I'm very, I'm very happy with Omni-Man. I'm very, very happy. Um, uh, put me in a match against him, I think I'll be changing my tune. But I'm so far just very happy playing him. Premium store items. <gasps> Do you have premium store items too? You don't? Oh, that's sad that he doesn't get premium store items. Hold on, let me look at these. Let me move my camera so y'all can see what I'm... You can see what I see. A star, a star shining through the night. Move here. I can center myself. Okay, this is a crazy helmet. <laughs> it looks like he's wearing deli meat. I'm so sad that Omni-Man doesn't have... Um, any anything in the store? I hope that changes for the next season. Oh wow! Look at this one. This Baraka skin is killer. I think it's the eyeliner and the white skin, but he looks like the um, the oh god, what movie is that? It's the it's the it's, they parodied it in Scary Movie, but it's the one where like the, the little boy staring through the the bars. I like how he doesn't have any, like, <laughs> he doesn't have the same shit. Why does Reiko not get, like, this kind of treatment? Why is he the only character? All of them have it. Ooh, Tanya looks killer, dude. I'm not gonna lie. I wish that what was in here was not just palette changes and more, like, actual different outfits. You know what I mean? So I think my, my favorite that it looks on is uh, Baraka. Did you look at Luke Kang's? I don't think I look at Luke Kang's. Oh, wow. Baraka, Luke Kang, um, Tanya, and kind of Molina. I want to try something else. I want to try one more thing. I don't think this is possible, but it'd be cool if it was. Oh, he's not. <laughs> Uh, oh, also they changed the, um, they changed this, this thing, um, from it being like this, like this random silhouette to a random select, which is an odd launch choice. Why didn't they just have this as a random select in the first place? But whatever. I just want to, I want to play with him a little bit more. X. X. Yeah, that's not, that's not, a. Uh, that doesn't really launch them. Do you not have anything that can launch? That's the Bobby Hill special, and that's just a dash forward. Okay. Can I, <clears throat> can I turn this one into a launch? No. Come on. Ah, uh, it's not one. It's, it's not so he really needs a cameo that can launch him in the air for omni-man to be able to do um aerials because he doesn't have a good aerial thing how do i unlock tremor let me see 
He's not released yet. Tremor and Omni Man have different release dates. <laughs> what do you mean, Tremor and Omni Man have different release dates? That's, that's wild. <laughs> if I have to pay for him separately, I'm gonna be upset. I mean, I guess that's why I bought the combat pack. Generally, my impressions of Omni Man are very positive. I think that he's super duper fun to play. I think he's gonna be, if. He's gonna be so fun to watch other people play as. I would I would love to get good at Omni Man, and I would love to like learn him. Um, so maybe I'll be I'll play around with him some more. Um, maybe I'll play with him during invasions and see what I can do with him there. I think it'll be fun and exciting. Um, and actually, as a final thing, let me update our thing. Okay, so this is our endings tier list. If you guys remember. Um, we watched all of the endings of all the Mortal Kombat characters, and then we ranked them from, um, from you know, S to D. Uh, where does Omni Man fit into all that? Um, I thought it was a pretty good ending. I thought it was a pretty good ending, and seeing like Invincible there at the very end was really really cool. Um, I wouldn't say it's an S tier thing for me though. The Viltrumite Empire like going in and like attacking all the realms was cool. Um, I would have liked to see them like conquer more than just Sub-Zero. And like my general feelings in are like, pretty cool, pretty cool. So I think B, it's a very B tier ending for me. B tier ending. Pretty good, not perfect, pretty good. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for joining me on that little excursion into Omni-Man, that unplanned excursion into Omni-Man because I forgot that he was coming out today. Um, but he's really fun. I, if you get, have you gotten the chance, um, check him out, play him. I think you'll have a really, really fun time. Um, but like I said before, like I say in all of my Omni-Man videos, if you play Omni-Man at a tournament, if you're hanging out with your friends and you're like, I'm gonna play as Omni-Man against you. Prepare to uh, have that friendship be destroyed, uh, crumbled into dust. Um, be prepared to, to be uh, vehemently hated once you enter that tournament. Um, be prepared to be booed off stage if you use Omni-Man, because Omni-Man is the, the most disrespectful character I have ever come across. Ah. Uh, I don't know about that. I'm sure there's another character that is also very disrespectful in another fighting game. But Omni-Man is definitely up there for me. Omni-Man is definitely up there. He's definitely, people are gonna leave matches with hurt feelings. Um, but he's super fun to play. He's super duper fun to play. He's the definition of, definition of like, it's good to be bad. You know what I mean? Um, so check him out, really recommend him. Um, Thank you for joining me, and uh, if you're watching this later on YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye.